creating a project in Luna is pretty straightforward, but there is something that isn't overly obvious when saving and opening different edits for that project. So we're going to look at that too, but first let's create a project. So this is the screen that you'll see when you first open up Luna. It's pretty straightforward. We can give it a name. So I'm going to call this. All right. And you can choose to start from a template. If you're just new to this, you probably don't have a template yet. And we'll look at that in another video. But if you already know the tempo that your song's going to be, you can enter that in here. Or if you have an idea in your head, you can just kind of tap it here. So say you have something you're humming in your head, you could just do, 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 do. And you can see it's changed the tempo to something roughly like that. And you can round it off if you want to do that. You can change the time signature here. I know the tempo I want, so I'm going to go with 170. And something that's kind of important is the location. If you have an external hard drive or a second hard drive that isn't the one that has your operating system on it, it's ideal to record and mix from those drives. That way you get all of the bandwidth for those hard drives. You're not sharing it with system resources and other things that might be running off of your main hard drive. If you don't have a second one, that's all right. You can use that here, but you may want to set up the location. So Luna projects for me, I already have set up because I've created some others in there. I'm going to do that. And it's on my H drive, which is an external hard drive and some other things on this window that aren't important right now, but we are going to come back to is this recent area. So this is the area that has your recent projects that you've been working on or looking at. And we'll come back to that. But right now, we're ready to create this project. So I'm going to click create. So here's our newly created project. And one of the very first things that I like to do before I even get started on anything is kind of just tidying up the, our user interface. So I'm not going to be changing the time signature at all during this song. So I can easily go up to view and then timeline settings. And then over here, you can see there's some things that are checked off. I don't want signature, so I'm going to take that off of there and I'm not going to be changing the tempo in this song. You can leave that. If you're going to be changing the tempo throughout your song, you can leave that open, but I'm not going to be. So I'll take that off of there and that's pretty much all I'm going to tidy up for that section right now. Another thing you might want to get rid of is this side over here. It's not necessary to get rid of it, but you can go up to view and then section and click on browser. You can get rid of that if you want. I don't mind having it open right at the start. And you can also get rid of this section over the side here. So we can go to view section and we can get rid of monitor. And that's that section over there. It's not necessary to have that open. So you may want to get rid of that right away. I'm going to leave it off because it gives me a nice big screen to work with here. So now I want to talk about saving edits and then opening edits. So we go up to file and then we go to new version. So I guess edits in Luna are called version. So we'll click on new version and it's just going to ask me to name this. So I'm going to call it static mix. And I could put notes in here if I want. I'm not going to. Then I'm going to click save and you can see now we're in the project called she said dance dash static mix. So this is a new version of that project. And what we can do is I'm just going to close this session. It's going to take us back to this screen and you can see there's our new project. And it just says, she said dance. And if I double click on that to open it, you can see it's opened the last one that I saved, which is static mix. Now, what if I want to go back? So I'm going to close this again. And I'm going to click on these little dots over to the side. And now you can see open version. So we can go in here and here's the initial version. So I could go back and open that initial version if I want to. And where this comes in handy is if you're starting to try out different edits of your final mix, you may want to save edit one, two, three, just trying different settings then you can do that here. And I usually do that. I'll have edit one, two, three, four, whatever it takes. And then I can go back in and 
listen to each one, or maybe there's one where I want to start with that one and just edit a few things because that's the one I like. Whatever I want to do, I can go back and open the different edits in here. Also, we can click on this down here, show auto backups. And if there were any auto backups, like there is this one here, we could click that. So if some things changed or maybe it crashed for some reason or your computer crashed, you can look back to see if there was an auto backup made at a specific time. So that's something you might want to be aware of, but it's easy to create and open projects in Luna. So what I'm doing in this series is I'm going to mix a song, but I have to load in the stems that I recorded on another computer and in another piece of software. So the next step in this would be importing those stems into Luna. And you can check that video out right here and continue on with more Luna videos in this series. If you like this video you just watched, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.